right, I'm sitting in an 8330 here, and I'm going to calibrate the transmission. First step is you take a jumper hose from number one and number two, or any two of the SCVs there, and you put you put one of them on continuous flow for the jumper hose and one on continuous flow just deadheading, no, no hose attached. And that's how they ask you to heat up the oil. Then if you push your engine hours down here, or I guess it's already there, uh, but you can scroll through here and find oil temperature. So we're at 102 degrees Fahrenheit. But it also requires you to drive, shifting through all the gears 1 through 13 and reverse uh, multiple times to heat the transmission evenly. Uh, you can also do the mechanical front wheel drive and park a couple times too, which those aren't going to matter so much, but you can do those as well. All right, my oil temperature is up to 144, which is the limit on. 46, I guess, is where it could go to. So we're ready to start the air purge. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle back here. Give the engine, or turn these off. And then we're going to go to address 24 is what we're going to be at. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the tractor off. And now as I start start the tractor, I'm going to need to push these two buttons within a couple seconds of starting the tractor. So now we're in this mode. I don't think that... Okay, that might work yet. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go to address 24 purge. Leave the tractor at a low idle, everything off, AC is off, everything off that we need to have off, and we're going to start this here. So select gear four. Oops, I put it in reverse for some reason. So go down to gear four, and then we're going to go down to here. Now, why is it shifting up on me? Oh, it's doing that automatically. I thought I said to, sh to select gear four, so I did, but it's already shifting up on me, so. We'll just let it do its thing. What do you think, Jackson? Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to shift to park, and that tells me the park brake is holding well. All right. Press enter. And now we're going to go to, okay, 23 is going to show us zero, which is the right oil for where we're at. And my transmission oil should be hot enough and engine temp is good. So turn off air conditioning, steering, hitch, brakes, clutch, SCVs, all that should be off. So we're gonna go to address 25. And then we're gonna go ahead and enter that. So it's saying select oil type. If it says select oil type, perform hydraulic oil types setting in step three. Okay, so that was up here, which we had just verified, but apparently I have to go through it and actually do it. So we'll hit back there 
and we're gonna go here and then actually save it and then we can go to 25 and do the calibration okay so it says raise oil temperature so the oil temp is at 52 Celsius so I'm just gonna use SCV1 now we need to set the engine to R RPM to full throttle all right so unlike the 100 series and 10 series and 20 series you cannot have any SCVs operating during the calibration process so we'll have to just turn them off and if we need to reheat the oil we'll have to do that after or just put the put the lever into neutral and do that and then put it back in gear and it'll continue the calibration so we're going to go ahead and turn this off again and put lever into forward Here's a list of things that it can, that it will be showing us. Not purge, set oil type, raise oil temperature, low oil temperature, raise water temperature, engage park, lever forward, set RPM, uh, volume calibrating, press calibration, stabilizing, set RPM, clutch, element too fast, element too slow, too high, too low, or error. Now it's telling us to raise hydraulic temp again. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in neutral and once again, do this. This is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna skip through all this. Um, and hopefully you guys can can watch and, and figure out what needs to be done. All right, so if any of these error messages come up, too slow, too fast, too high or too low, it won't, that element will fail. You just push the clutch in and release it, and it'll move on to the next next uh, element. So we're going to do the no load torque here now. So we should be ready to go ahead and enter this no load torque. High RPM. Oh, we got to engage park. There we go. And then it says off. Let's see here. And then press the next key when off is this way. There we go. No. Oops, sorry, I gotta do this here. That one there. Then you just push that button twice more. Wait, now I gotta go down here. And press that, and now we're done. So. Uh, now I got the torque load set and we're ready to go. Okay, we're just restarting the tractor here. And go ahead and just drive it and see how it drives. Shipped and smooth so far. Let's bump her down here a couple gears. Fifth to fourth is usually fairly hard. That wasn't too bad. It might be worse than full throttle though. I've had worse. Uh, 
I think it's working. <laughs>